Well, they're doing it again. The NBA is once again building negativity to sell. They're turning the Kyrie Irving versus LeBron James situation, the Boston Cav game, into Kyrie versus LeBron and and doing the same build up as they did for Kobe and Shaq. I mean the build up was so was such intense back then with Kobe and Shaq because there was a legal situation and the team didn't back Shaq and Shaq thought he's supposed to be protected. And found out he wasn't protected, and you know it became a, an entire dismal type of situation. So I'm just saying, if you remember that game. When Kobe plays Shaq, you can cut the tension with a knife. That's how intense it was. It was that intense that you can cut the you can cut the tension with a knife. It was that intense watching them play each other. Kobe was going out there to destroy. And so was Shaq. They were just going at each other. And from a standpoint of somebody else who was watching it from the outside looking in, you were excited, like, yeah, go, go, go. Then you were like, oh, man, this is, this is bad. Because you're doing exactly what they want. And Bill Russell you know, smart as Bill is, he understood and knew that this had to stop. And it had to stop immediately. And he sat Kobe down and Shaq and had a conversation with both of them. Got them in the room together to have a conversation because it needed to be had at that point. And explain to them that there's people outside of your race that want to push this through the league. They want to push this and market you. Two black guys destroying themselves. Two black guys destroying themselves and had them so angry at each other. Explain to them process of racism and how it works and how they pin one against the other explained how important it was for them not to let themselves be destroyed by the same issues and same enigma that they went through through slavery don't give them what they want so out of respect for Bill Russell and what he was doing, they were smart enough to put it to put it aside and say, "You're right. We gonna do something that nobody thought we were gonna be able to do ever. We gonna go against what they saying in the media, and that's dead. Me and Kobe are cool. And to see them win co MVP at the All Star game and all that, they patched everything up." And they were side by side again. And people were so happy at that point. They had to spin the good story now of them being friends again. But this Kyrie and LeBron thing, once again, it's early. But you can see the NBA is pushing this agenda. The media with the questions of Boston and Cleveland and how that has turned from the big three 
and when LeBron was in Cleveland the first time to now Kyrie and LeBron, he won't be in the shadow. They're really milking it to try to build animosity for one to fail against the other. But it's two different situations. Kyrie is not like that. He's too professional to let to let LeBron mess get to his head. But it could affect the way he play. He might play like I got something to prove to LeBron and Cleveland and the fans and everybody else. And and become a sideshow to the game. And you don't want that to happen. Kobe and Shaq became a sideshow to the game. And Dwayne Wade was out there playing a game when that happened. Like, look, I'm the only one playing a game. <laughs> Everybody else, is them two is just playing one-on-one -on -one right now. And we're out here playing a game. So... I don't want that to happen with Kyrie's just in Kyrie's versus the Cavs. I'd rather see the game, Boston versus Cleveland. So hopefully that they can get this situated and everybody can move forward and do things the right way, you know. So it's your boy Carcino, I'm out. Enjoy that game when it comes out, and hopefully we have a game. It's just one team versus the next. Let the best team win.